Virginia and West Virginia, and now we are in Maryland on 77, and I believe that we are between State Park and National Park. We just a few miles back passed an AT crossing. And it's really beautiful in here. Deer! Now would that be something to see a bear cruising around? Raccoon, sad. If it wasn't a possum, they eat ticks. They eat ticks, and I know people call raccoons trash pandas. <laughs> trash pandas. Because they get into everything. <laughs> but they still look pretty cool, and they got a lot of personality, so. They're not look like red pandas. <laughs> I can't, can't hate on the raccoons too much. Oh, but they do carry rabies, so I don't want to get close to them. We are touring the Gettysburg, and this is a huge observation tower on the top of Culp's Hill. We're making our way up to the top, but I've just gone one level and you can see how far down the van is. This entire park is dotted, dotted with all kinds of memorials for different regiments in different areas. And the fundraising is done by each local group, community, state. So they're all a little bit different and unique, and they're everywhere. Not just in this area, but all over the entire military park. This is a really cool direction finder that Andy just noticed. Shows you for each point. Look out that way. You can see it. It's really amazing how spread out this park is. We've been driving around doing the auto tour, which you can also do on bike or walk. It'll probably take you a day and a half if you're walking. Andy has gone up to shoot some pictures of the Pennsylvania Memorial. And uh, we've been trying to follow the map, which I'll show you. It's a little complicated because it shows the red route is the auto uh, tour, but it doesn't show all the regular street signs. And then there's a lot of marks that um, aren't even on the map <laughs> that aren't uh, points on the tour. There's like 16 points on the tour that you can see. Um, so it's a little confusing trying to figure out exactly where we are. And there's a bunch of one-way roads. So yeah, it's. Uh, bit of a challenge and especially because we want to see as much as we can in the time we have which is only an afternoon and you could really spend days here if you wanted to just delving into the history of all the battles and as we're driving around we're seeing all these marks for confederate hospitals houses and farms that served as hospitals or not just confederate but um civil war hospitals i guess battle hospitals so that's interesting and they're not even on the map and there's just so much to know about what went on here and what's mind-boggling is how big a battle it was for three days and how many other battles there were in this war. And uh, yeah, I don't know much about Civil War history. Didn't have any interest in it until I started through hiking and went through some of the areas in, in Maryland and uh, some of the battlefields and parks and memorials. So um, still don't know a lot, but I'm kind of fascinated by that period in our history and uh, learning what I can. We realized we couldn't see everything, but we wanted to come and see the Soldiers Memorial here in the National Cemetery. This is actually the spot where Lincoln delivered the Gettysburg Address, and the cemetery was dedicated after the war. And it's really kind of moving to be here, seeing all the graves and all the markers of fallen soldiers. Gettysburg and we are now on our way to the Mount 
Alpaca Farm for the night, a Harvest Hooks location. And we are heading out into the country, which is awesome. Friendly like this when they want to be bred. So these three right now are not with child. Oh. Child. So they need a little companionship. <laughs> yeah. I hope you can hear me over the crickets. We're sitting outside at the in a spring alpaca farm and Forrest is discovering alpacas. He doesn't know what to make of them. Forrest, what is that? Do you know what that is? It's an alpaca. It's related to a camel. All right, I'm sneaking up on the boy llamas, llamas, boy alpacas. They're out here grazing and this one over there, it's been laying around, rolling around. And then Andy and I noticed the birds here, which I think are pheasants, but I'm not sure. Hello, llama. Oh, why am I going on llamas? Hello, alpacas. Aren't they cool? 